Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturer in computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to make a YouTube ready video with Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. So first why PowerPoint and not any other of the many many tools that are available for creating videos. Well first PowerPoint is very common widely used by a lot of people in education and in training and this means that there's a lot of existing content that's available and of course an awful lot of people are very very familiar with PowerPoint and by using it we don't have to learn how to use any of the other tools. So therefore PowerPoint is a very very handy tool for creating videos for YouTube. Indeed this video has been created using PowerPoint. So first what are the steps in creating a video using PowerPoint? Well, the first thing to do, of course, is to create your PowerPoint presentation and then insert your slides as needed. And when you're happy that the presentation is complete, that's the time when we can go and add in some audio. So create your PowerPoint presentation as normal or indeed use an existing PowerPoint presentation before you go ahead and add in the audio. And once this is done, you're now ready to record the voiceover or audio for your presentation. So once your presentation is ready for audio insertion, you go to the slideshow ribbon select the record slideshow button and the pop drop down menu will show two options that you see here. You can choose to start recording from the beginning of the presentation or you can choose to start from the recording from the current slide. And that's what I'm going to do here. So once you select to record one slide at a time the record slideshow window appears in the center of your screen and that you can see here. I'm going to select the default options here and click on the start recording button to continue. So once you start recording, PowerPoint will now run your presentation as a slideshow. And now is the time to make the voiceover. So whether you have notes in front of you or you have a script or whether you're ad-libbing, everything you say is now being recorded by PowerPoint for this particular slide. During the recording, a recording window, like the one you see here, which shows six seconds gone by, will appear in the top left-hand side of your presentation screen. And this gives you a time for the current slide and also an overall time for all the slides previously recorded. You can pause and continue using this tool as you are speaking over the slide while you are recording your voice over. When you are finished with speaking about a particular slide, um, press escape to finish recording for that slide. And this is as an advantage when you're recording one slide at a time because you can make mistakes, stumble, say the wrong thing, and you might like to record again. So record one slide at a time is probably best for people starting out using PowerPoint to create videos for YouTube. Once you have finished recording for a particular slide, um, you are moved back to the uh, PowerPoint editor and down in the bottom right hand screen, PowerPoint will insert a little speaker logo or little speaker graphic that you see here pointed out by the red arrow. And this is actually a movable object. You can hide this, choose to hide this, or if you want to re-record your presentation, you can actually delete this and go through what we've just done all over again. So watch out for this icon appearing on the bottom right hand side of your screen. When you have finished your recording for each slide, it's now time to create the video. And PowerPoint uses a Windows media format or a file extension with .wmv um, to store the PowerPoint presentation when you save it as a video. And this format is also acceptable to YouTube, so once you have a WMV file, you can upload it to YouTube and it will be played by YouTube as a normal video. So, what do you do next when you want to save your video? Well, the first thing to do is save your PowerPoint presentation as a PowerPoint presentation, in other words, with a .ppt or a .pptx extension, so that you have a copy of the original PowerPoint presentation, including the audio, so that you can come back at a later time and edit it. So save it as a PPTX. So once you have a normal PowerPoint presentation version saved, you now need to go and save the file in the Windows Media Video format. So if you click on the Save as Type PowerPoint Presentation option that you see here, a drop-down menu will appear with many, many options for saving the file. And down near the bottom, high pointed out by the red arrow here, is the Windows Media Video um, Star.WMV option. So select that. Once you've chosen to save as a WMV format, uh, PowerPoint will now create the video for you. And you can see the progress of this video being created in the status bar at the bottom of the PowerPoint editing screen. Now a lot will depend on how many slides you have and how long the voiceovers reach one, so larger presentations could take some time for PowerPoint to create the video file. 
So you can see how the progress is and there's a red X there that you can stop it if you think it's too big or you do not want to continue. So once your file is saved as a Windows Media video, it's now time to upload it to Moodle. And you do this through the normal video file upload Moodle. You're now out of PowerPoint, go to youtube.com and upload your video as you would do normally for any video. So that's how you make a YouTube-ready video from PowerPoint. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.